Hello, my loves, and welcome to Taurus Truth Tarot, where we are all Taurus all the time. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. My name is Shannon Colleen. I am a Taurus Sun and Venus. And before we get started, I do want to give a little announcement. So I give, I wish I could talk. <laughs> I am available for personal readings, okay? But every month I give a special. So um, this month I'm super, super excited because September, I know it's the 31st, but for September, all of September, if you book a reading in September for the what does spirit want you to know reading that I offer it will be 50% off it is my favorite reading it is the one that is booked the most and it's simply called what does spirit want you to know so I'm very excited about announcing that if you would like to book one all you have to do is go in the description box below and there's the link to my booking site and also at the very end of this reading there will be a little uh, icon of a lotus flower that takes you right to my booking site and then you would book the what does spirit want me to know it is a recorded reading just like on YouTube but it's a private link that I send you okay so it's awesome if you've had one let them know because they are absolutely my favorite to do absolutely so with that being said let's see what we got going on for today divine source creator what is the overall energy show us clearly please oh i got the chills what is the overall energy show us clearly what is the overall energy show us clearly All right, success. <laughs> we'll take that. Oh my goodness. We will absolutely take the success card. And we have that uh, ooh, with music healing. Oh, oh, this speaks to my heart so much. Um, music is healing for you, okay? So in order to get your success, the success that you want, there is major change, okay? With the five here, the 23 is a five. Major change, success coming in. The four is very grounded very stable energy and i love this because i don't know about y'all we all have our things but i always go to music i am big into the soft geo music and 432 hertz and 963 hertz and all that but even uh music you know that we know as of today right the our pop music if you will and it is healing and it is inspiring jason maria's has a song out there that I absolutely love and I love it so much that I actually have this tattooed on my wrist Tashi Delect it was the inspiration for him writing the song and Tashi Delect means it's a greeting but the green means may you have auspiciousness and reasons for success instead of just hello right may you have auspiciousness and reasons for success if you're not listening to enough music I highly recommend that you do I normally in the background have some sort of Hertz music going on I love good feeling music too uh, I'm all about it I'm all about happy happy music and it is healing and sometimes we put too much other things in the background remember when I mean some of you are old enough to remember like I am where you would go to work and you would have a radio playing in the background. I did, uh, for a very short period of time, I did uh, accounting work for my father when I was young, very young. I don't even know if I was 20. Uh, and in the office, that's what we did. We had the radio playing in the background, right? So music is a big healer and it does lead to success. I feel like that's very important. Sometimes we get away from this. Right? We've got so much media out there, so much online streaming, so much this, this, some, that. I would tell you, I would say today would be the day to get up and dance. Today would be a day to get up and put on music. I know, I don't know about you guys, but even when I'm cleaning my house, right, I listen to music. Uh, I'm, I'm huge on it. It is so healing. Um, and all different kinds, too. Okay? Like I said, all different kinds. Like, I listen to gospel music. Um, we have a local radio, radio station down here in Louisiana, WWOZ, and they always play gospel music on Sunday morning. It's refreshing. It's great. It's amazing. And it does. There's a reason it heals. 
So, I know you guys are probably like, okay, I get it, I get it. But honestly, sp spend some time listening to your favorite music. Spend some time dancing to it. There's big changes. It's going to heal parts of you, which is going to lead you to big change and to success in your life. Okay? I, I'm absolutely here for this. <laughs> it's like right up my tree. All right. Let's see what we have in the tarot. Show me clearly. What does Taurus need to know? Angels, guides, ancestors. What does Taurus need to know? Sometimes we forget about the basic things that help us heal. Herbs, fruits, vegetables, right? Music, dancing, movement. Because it doesn't just heal us physically. It heals our heart. It heals our mind. It's amazing. Show me clearly, please. What is the message? Angels, guides, ancestors for Taurus. What is the message? And you know what's so crazy about that, too, is that I'm literally, let me grab it. <laughs> I just love spirits so much. I am literally using the New Orleans Oracle deck, and New Orleans is known for music. You can walk down the street, and there will be a second line at, at any random point. I mean, yesterday I went outside uh, to take out the garbage, and there's just a man uh, standing there playing, uh, playing his trumpet. It's just amazing how healing that can be. So we've got the Knight of Wands, which is great because this tells me you're getting excited. That's that fiery energy, right? That's the movement. The Knight of Wands is, you know, going for that success. The Knight of Wands is very spiritual, right? Listening to that music, getting fired up. The success is like you're going for it, right? And I love it with the Eight of Pentacles, doing the work. And sometimes the work isn't what we think it is. Okay, sometimes the work isn't, I mean, this person is definitely mastering their craft and that's great, but the, sometimes the work is to have the joy, have the healing, have the fun. Right? This is, this is like the music card for me right here. And the Eight of Pentacles is the success card for me. Like, I absolutely feel like whatever you work on, whatever you focus on, Yeah, whatever you work on, whatever you're focusing on, it, it, it's going to come to fruition. But it, it comes through in a a lighter way, okay? Because they're bringing me back to what I just said about cleaning the house and listening to music as I'm cleaning the house, right? Makes the work less work, you know? I'm not going to sit here and pretend like I love cleaning the house. I, I don't. It's just something that gets has to get done. But I do enjoy it when I have the music in the background. And then I am successful because the house looks great, right? So, yeah, there's something there with that. Show me clearly, please. What is the message for Taurus? What is the message for Taurus, please? That's too many. Can I just have one or two? Can I just have one or two, please? Yeah, thank you. All right. So we have here, the yes, do stuff that feels good, right? There is success through your heart space, through joy, through um, feeling good physically, mentally, emotionally, feeling good. That's where the success comes in. Really tapping into your intuition that way. Music is a great way to tap into intuition. It really is. Um, Getting answers. I, I'm hearing getting answers also. Relaxing the mind, relaxing the body in order to get the answers that you need. You know, a solution that you may need to a certain obstacle. Yeah. Look at the Five of Wands. So the Five of Wands, remember, it's kids playing with sticks. It's not the Five of Swords. So I do feel like... This feels like chaotic almost, right? Like, oh, I just don't know what to do, where to go. Because remember, the fives can, it can be outside, but can also be within. And I feel like you're kind of bouncing all over the place here, right? Struggling with yourself. When really, you should be putting the sticks down and, and, and playing, right? <laughs> right? Um, this feels like the, the inner you, struggling with the inner you and 
getting out of a slump is what I'm hearing too. Getting out of a slump. So the success is there. It's uh, this is self sabotage. Okay, this is not choosing to turn on the music, if you will. Okay, that's the self sabotage. You need to recognize it. You don't have to be mad at yourself. You don't have to guilt yourself. You just go, okay, yeah, I'm self sabotaging. I'm going to turn on the music. I'm going to do what I need to do. The work, right? And answers are going to come. I love it. Show me clearly. Show me clearly. Thank you. Yes. Music heals the heart. Three of Swords. Okay, the Three of Swords. Yeah, it's it's heartache over something, right? Didn't get the job. Don't have love in my life. Whatever it might be. But the healing through the music is, is really what's going to get you to this success. Get you to the love. Get you to the new career. Get you that, you know, new home. This, that, and the other. Whatever you're trying to manifest. Whatever didn't come through, it's okay. It wasn't meant for you. There's something better on the other side. But to heal the disappointment, to move on from that Three of Swords, literally is that healing that you need to do. Yeah, heal your heart through music. Heal your disappointment through music. Definitely. Definitely. Show me clearly, please. Mm, see? Did you guys hear that? The beeping? It's a wake-up call. Yes, new perspective. I love it. Hangman, having a new perspective on it, getting back into the flow, definitely getting back into the flow, realizing that whatever this was, that's okay. You had to go through it, had to experience it. Something better is on the other side. I have a new perspective. I'm changing my ways. I'm getting enlightened. Remember, I said the answers will come. The success will come, and it's going to come through you through you healing this this three of swords, right? I don't know why this could, this came up in a personal reading. I'm not going to say who for uh, personal reasons and whatnot. But in that in that reading, it was uh, there was a job offer that didn't go through, and my client had emailed me back and said, "I think I dodged a bullet." I think whatever this is, you dodged a bullet. <laughs> okay, I really do. I think whatever this is, you dodged a bullet. Because look at the bottom of the deck. We have the star card with the three of cups. So celebration, harvest, healing. This is a big healing card, right? But it's wish fulfillment, right? There's definitely, whatever this three of swords is, there's something else that's better for you, right? That you will celebrate. I love that the star card came out with this healing card. Because it is about healing. The mind, the heart, the emotions, right? And you're choosing it. Sometimes we have to actually choose healing, okay? Like, you guys know how I always say this. Choose happiness. Happiness is a choice. You can wake up and stub your toe in the morning and be like, oh, son of a bitch, it's going to be a crap day. Guess what? It's going to be a crap day. If the same thing happens and you laugh it off and you're like, oh my gosh, that dresser has been there for four years. <laughs> how did this happen? And you're laughing at yourself. That's choosing happiness. That is choosing happiness. So you can choose healing also. I choose to heal. Amen. All right, let's see what else we have. Show me clearly. What is the message for Taurus, please? Show me clearly. What is the message? What is the message? What do we got going on for Taurus, please? Angels, guides, ancestors. What is the message? <laughs> what is the message? Show us clearly. Thank you. All right. So we have here epic things are happening. Yes, I love it. Epic things are going to happen. Epic things, right? They are. Music healing, huge success. Epic things are happening. I love that. So with that being said, don't forget to book your What Does Spirit Want Me to Know reading half off. Don't forget to like, share, and comment. I read each and every one. All of my love, light, and blessings to you. Until next time.